Hey guys, in this video we are going to discuss the problem D of uh, Hello 2023. This by far would be the easiest solution you will see for this particular problem. You might see an equivalently easy, solu uh, easy solution for this problem but not easier than this. So because this solution doesn't actually utilize anything like a segment tree or a DSE or anything of that sort that a lot of people have used. It just uses a simple stack. So with that let's get started. So the problem states that Boris thinks that chess is a tedious game so he left the tournament early and went to a barber shop as his hair was a bit messy and his current hair can be described by a A. So A1 up to AN describes the height of the hair that is standing at the position I. His desired haircut can be described by another array B in a, in a similar fashion. So B1 would basically represent the hair he wants at the position 1 and B2 would represent the uh, hair he wants at the position, uh, position 2. The barber has M razors, each has its own size and can be used at most once. So each razor cannot be used more than once and in one, a single operation he can choose a segment of the hairs and then cut them all. So more formally what they are saying is that in each operation he can choose any of the razors he is having and which he shouldn't have used uh, like he shouldn't have used before. So each razor can be used at most once. Let its size be X and also he chooses a segment of the hairs so let's say the left seg uh, left part of that uh, segment is l and the right index is r so for all of these hairs that are present in l to r he'll set ai that is the current size of the hair to the minimum of what, what the current size is or the uh, or the size of the razor itself and then they have provided us that uh, he may perform as many operations as he wants as long as the razor is used at most one and ai is equal to bi for each at the end so when you have uh, when you are done with the operations at the end your array a should be exactly equal to array b and we have to tell that if it's possible for the barber barber to cut uh, cut the hair of boris in the desired fashion or not uh, they have also mentioned the constraints so the value of test cases is less than or equal to 20000 the the value of n that is the size of the array is less than 2 into 10 to power 5 the value of the current hair size is less than 10 to power 9 and the value of the new hairs, uh, hairstyle he wants is also t uh, less than 10 to power 9 so over here it actually represents each of the individual hair strands so initially it's 10 to uh, initially it can be up to 10 to power 9 at, end, at the end as well it's uh, up to 10 to power 9 uh, the fourth line indicates a positive integer m that is the number of razors the barber has and after that they have also given us the num uh, the sizes of each individual razor at the end we just pr uh, print a yes or a no depending on whether the hair can be cut or not so with that let's get started so what they are saying is that let's say these are the strands of hairs of boris right so let's say this is uh, maybe one this is two this is again one this is three and this is three now boris wants that a barber should cut his hair in a fashion that the final answer is let's say one 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 maybe two two let's say this is the answer so would a barber be able to do it so a barber has only one tool that's his razors so what he can do is that for this particular uh, example let's say he had a razor with size one and a razor with size two let's say these were the two razors we had he had so he can select this particular segment and he can apply the razor one over here let me change the color of the pencil okay cool so he can then apply razor 1 over here the razor 1 has a size of 1 so all of these elements would now become 1 1 and 1 these were already 1 but uh, we select minimum of 1 1 the, it's trivial so never mind but for minimum of 2 comma 1 we'll get a 1 so his hair would become 1 over here as well this uh, now this set of hair is sorted this set however still remains right so over here we need the final answer to be 2 also he has a razor of 2 left so he can use the razor 2 over here and then they'll get cut as 2 2 so this is the final answer and uh, in, if this is the question given to us or if this is the test case given to us we'll have to return yes so basic question is how to do it now since we are talking of segments it might be tempting to think that we can do it via segmentary and we definitely can do it via segmentary but segmentary is not a very beginner friendly topic and it's easier if we can think of another approach which which is easier to code easier to think easier to implement so uh, for that we'll look at another observation so i can start my problem with a greedy way what 
I mean by a greedy way is that let's say this particular hair was of length 4 and in between we had a hair of length 2 as well right and this is a of i and this is b of i so b of i let's say b of i is 2 2 2 so can i convert it into this using a razor of size 2 yes i definitely can i can use the razor on the entire length and i can say the converted array would be this but how do we tell the computer to do it or the system or the algorithm to do it so what we can say is that if we are having a razor right and if the length or the size of the razor so basically the size of the razor means is that after using it what would be what would be the size of the hair remaining so if the size of the razor is greater than or equal to the final value I want right then I can use it for that as well so it won't matter to me so over here the razor I was using for position 0 or this particular position it was 1 right the razor can again be used on on the other element because the size of the razor is greater than or equal to bi so it won't matter now I can use the same razor for the last element as well so a similar so the same razor can be used for all the three stands of here with that in mind what we can say is that for any element in the array b I definitely use a I have to use a razor if a i is greater than b i now can I use the same razor that I was already using on some strand earlier I can use it if and only if if and only if that particular razor had a size equal to, uh, had a size equal to bi right now does that mean let's say i am using a razor of size x on this particular segment so this is my i currently and these were some other indexes that were before i from 0 to i minus 1 i'm using a razor x i'm also using a razor y let's say i'm continuously using it and for this particular index i need another razor let's say z so I'll be using Z for this particular index but can I extend X over here as well so can I also use X over here and I can, uh, can I also use Y over here I can only use X and Y on this particular segment if and only if the size of X is greater than B of I because if the size of X is less than B of I then, then it's going to cut this particular segment to a value that is less than B of I and then the hair would get spoiled so why would i even want to do it why wouldn't i uh, why would i want to extend my razor x to a point that is greater than i that is because i want to minimize the number of razors i am using or i want to optimally use them right so it might be possible that for some index that's present after i so let's say there's some index j that's present after i it might require the razor x and if i had dropped my razor x over here itself if i dropped it then that particular razor would, won't be available to me and it might be the case that razor x was only available to me once and I wouldn't be able to use it for j index hence I won't be able to cut his hair in that manner so it's best to check for this particular condition and then proceed further so that's it that's the entire logic for this particular question and the code is also pretty simple so let's just look at the code so in the code itself what I'm doing is I'm taking the uh, vector in uh, vectors of integers that is a and b so it represents the initial here's it represent the final here i need then i'm inputting them then i'm also taking a, a map of razors and i'm i'm like incrementing the value of that particular razor because i can have several razors of a similar size the reason i'm using map doesn't have to do anything with this particular algorithm you can use on order map as well map is just short so i used map there's no other logic also over here if ai is less than bi so that would basically mean the current here okay so for this that would mean that the current here has a length of x but i want 
the the new hair to have a length of x plus y is it possible can you ask a barber to cut your hair in such a manner that the final height is greater than the initial height definitely not definitely not it's a stupid question so you can't do that so if such a case is present that you have a ai which is less than your bi you can simply return zero you can say it's not possible return zero so basically the barber can barber can say that you are acting stupid it's not possible for me to do that cool then what i'm saying is if this condition holds then just return no else i'll take a stack of or a monotonous stack now what a monotonous stack is it's basically a simple stack wherein each uh, each value above another value is smaller than that so if i'm saying a monotonous decreasing stack the elements in it would be in a decreasing fashion so i can have four on top of it i'll have two then one any sort of that thing but if i have a element i i cannot have a element greater than i on top of it so that's uh, what a monotonous stack means then i'm just input uh, like i'm taking the variables over here so that i don't have to refer to my ai bi you can directly do with ai bi as well but i just like to do it that way then i'm saying till the time a monotonous stack has a size so it has some elements and if the element at the top is less than b so if element at the top is less than the current hair strand then i definitely have to remove it i can't use that particular razor so mo monotonous stack is basically holding the razors i can't use that particular razor if the size of that of the razor is smaller than the hair i want at that particular uh, uh, at that particular strand so that is what i'm doing over here i'll keep popping all the races then i'll check if the uh, if the final answer and the initial answer were same so i don't need any razor for this uh, for this hair strand so i'll continue else i'll definitely be needing some razors and if the top of the stack that is the minimum razor i'm still using for that stick segment if it's equal to b then i can simply use that razor so i can still continue else i'll definitely require some other razor right so even the smallest razor that i have i have on this uh, on this particular uh, segment is would be greater than b so i'll need some other razor so i'll check if i have a razor of that of size b then it's good else if the number of razors at the size b is zero i can return uh, no simply if the number of razors are greater than 1 then i'll decrement it by 1 and push that uh, size uh, that, that uh, razor onto the stack so over here i've used b and b actually is the size of the razor as well so b is the size of the final strand of uh, size of the hair you want at that particular location finally and it's also the size of the razor right so i'm pushing that onto the monotonous stack if the en entire iteration completes without any hitch then i can simply return yes and that's it that's the entire algo let's try submitting this particular question okay so i have submitted it already so so let me just show you the solution so this is the exact solution i submitted the one i showed you over there i'll try to link this into the pinned comment uh, comment you can go through the code but i think the code is pretty easy to understand so you can code it your, uh, on your uh, on your also uh, on your own as well right so let me know if you still have any doubts in it or if you want me to make any video on another topic another problem so let me know about that thanks a lot guys